Take a look at the map now. The world is his oyster. Berlin did not suit him. In Vienna, Chopin felt small. So he makes a decision to finally go to Paris. He packs his suitcases and emigrates from Poland. Paris is the capital of the world. Friedrich teaches and plays the piano. Publishers seem to be fighting to have Chopin in their collection. But he misses Warsaw. The warmth of the family home. He secretly writes letters to his parents and sisters. Until one day, he gets wonderful news in the letter that both his sisters and parents want to see their son. So he goes for treatment to a Czech guest house where he meets his family. And they are blessed with this wonderful vacation. Then he won't see them again and will not spend time with them. Turns out many years later they are meeting for the last time. He spends the rest of his life in England, where he is asked to play so many concerts that he becomes truly uh. exhausted. And it's getting so bad that they need to carry Friedrich up the stairs because the disease is progressing and he isn't strong <coughs> enough to stand up. And he dies of tuberculosis. Although today's researchers come up with different theories about Chopin's real illness. <laughs>